hello and welcome back to my channel thank you so much for joining me today I'm a little sick and I sound a little sick therefore this will be my voice the whole video <laughs> anyway thank you so much for joining me I have a big watercolor Mandela illustration I went out in nature and took out some pictures of a rock formation and I just recreated it and I saw a saguaro cactus with little cacti on top of it. So I decided to take uh, take a moment, look at it, and paint it. Because I couldn't take a picture. It was on the highway. You can't just stop on the highway for no reason, you know? And that's how this painting was formed. All the supplies I used will be in the description down below. As well as my social medias and... Um, a little summary of this video and the first thing I'd like to talk about here is about what happened after I graduated high school the things I learned and what I want to share with any of my viewers who are wanting to get better at something or better at art or better at anything when I graduated high school I continued just painting mountains with a sky, some land, and water. That's about it. It didn't really help me grow because I was painting the same thing over and over. And you can't go anywhere if you stay in your comfort zone. If you want to grow in something, if you want to get better at it, you have to get out of your comfort zone and if you say you don't have time manage your time because I know far too many people who use their time to scroll on their phones before they go to bed at night and you know to do things that don't benefit them and I'm not saying everyone does that but I know a few people who do that and it's bad for you, because if you want to get better at something, you have to make time for it. And this whole few months, I was like having a crazy time because I was babysitting. And then I was like cleaning and stuff and helping my family. And then college came around and I was like, oh my gosh, time, time. <laughs> but you know what? I wasted my time because I would spend my time at night scrolling through Instagram whatever and talking to people like talking to my friends and stuff for such long periods of time that that wasted a lot of time and I would play games online and you know it's it's fun it's great and all but like if you say you don't have time you better manage it you know like I know I learned something about myself what would I do with my time so now if I don't have a lot of things to do, I'll make time for leisure things. But if I have time, I'm going to work on something that'll help me. And one of those things was to get out of my comfort zone and practice. And um, I had to paint a lion for... Uh, for, for a mural, mur, mural. <laughs> I can't pronounce words right now, I'm sorry. For a mural I was going to work on for uh, this room in my church. The first thing I thought was, I can't draw. Like, <laughs> I really can't draw. So I had to Google how to draw a lion. And once I drew it and painted it, my attitude a little, like my attitude, changed a little bit I wasn't so narrow-minded like in that time I learned that I have to do things that make me uncomfortable in order to grow because remember I was only drawing mountains water and um, you know landscape things that I was drawing all the time in fact I was not drawing them I was painting them and I was depending on Bob Ross techniques to like do that and not that there's anything wrong with people who do that it's just that if they want to 
grow more and draw in other things, go ahead. You know, like you have to get out of your comfort zone and draw other things. And I had a friend who wasn't very nice to me about that. And I, I'm thankful that they told me what they did because it's very important. If you want to get better, you have to just use your time wisely and um, use it to practice. And so when I drew that lion, I realized that I can do it and I have to just practice at it. Now I'm doing an acrylic painting of it and it looks great. I'm proud of it. Like there's some room for um, improvement, but where I am at right now, I'm proud of that painting and I'm going to continue doing things differently and just going forward. And I think that's so important for anyone who wants to get better at anything they do. I'm going to give an example, which is if you're trying to lose weight or lose fat and you kind of eat healthy sometimes and you kind of exercise, you're not going to have the same results if you, you're on the grind, you know, <laughs> like if you were to like work out however many days more than what you did initially and if you ate so much more better than what you did initially you'll have results and that's the thing you have to get out of doing the same thing and um, doing something that makes you feel uncomfortable and helps you grow and I noticed a lot of people around my age don't like doing that like they want to stay the same but this did teach me a lot, not only through art, but just about myself, too. And whatever you're doing that you're growing in, it'll teach you a lot of things about yourself and, you know, a lot of things about what you do. And it's so important to remember that. And where I'm at now is just, like, I'm excited. Like, I'm excited to face new struggles in art. And that sounds really funny, but I mean it because I'm in college right now and I'm taking art classes because I want to learn different techniques of doing things like drawings. I never really took art class in high school. I only took one art class and it was like art two. It was like the highest art class they had. So I took it. But I don't know much about art. I just know sometimes how to do it. But now that I'm taking these classes in college, I'm having professional teachers, you know, telling me what they think I should do. And I think that's good. I have a teacher who's really cool, who critiques my art sometimes. And I think it's good. Because, <laughs> like, it helps me. That's another thing. Like having your art critiqued is so important. And it might be harsh at first. I'm I'm very sensitive. Like I, I'm so sensitive. And I was not open to critiques, but now like if someone were to critique my art, like critiquing is not telling you if you're critiquing someone, telling them their art is bad is not a critique. Critiquing someone is what you could do better. Like when you say what you could do, what you could do better is this, then that's critiquing, that's helping that person grow, and that's so good. So I, I am open to critiques and stuff like that. But, um, you know, where I'm at now, I'm just happy with it. Like, I, I'm so excited to take more drawing classes because I don't draw enough and I need to draw so my paintings will get better and I'll just get better as an artist and you know I'm just so excited for this whole journey and I hope anyone who's pursuing this or anyone who's pursuing anything that I hope that they can learn to grow because it's hard for some people and I I don't know I'm just more of a sensitive person so I feel for people I guess but you know thank you so much for watching and listening to my voice this whole time I love you all so much, and I'll see you all later. Bye!